her research subject was Inductively Effectiveness of Coupled Plasma Mass Spectrometry in Trace Analysis. Good afternoon, everybody. Like she said, my name is Courtney McIntyre. I'm from CSU, Texas Southern University, by way of Jarvis Christian College in Texas. <coughs> what is ICPMS? Inductively Coupled Mass Plasma Mass Spectrometry is a 20 year old technique and it's used for my easy sampling introduction and quick analysis. So you see here, this is a picture of the ICBMS. Where the pre-classes play the The sample was introduced um, into the spectrometer as an aerosol by way of argon and the DNA carrier. And it goes in through here with the sample and carrier. Stuff goes in through here and the gases come in through here. It all goes up into the plasma. The plasma is about 8,000 degrees Celsius, which is really hot. You can only do that. And what, is, what happens is that the sample goes through and
or like recommend it for any um, sample setting. Limitations and future direction. Basically, I didn't have enough time to do what I really wanted to. Uh, my original project was going to be looking at metal deploys, but that was a little more expensive, and the time I was allowed it didn't give me much room to do such. Um, I would like to spend more time with the instrument. I just found out there's, there's one at Durham Christian College now, so as soon as they get it set up, I'll be continuing my research using the instrument. And um, I'll be continuing doing such collect by collecting fish bones and different ponds and lakes in Dallas. Uh, there's a situation at one of the lakes near Dallas Buffalo Airport where oil spills are pretty frequent <laughs> in that area and it's polluting a lot of fish. Well, a lot of local residents go to that pond, fish, and eat fish. And um, there's other situations as such. And what basically I'm going to be looking at rainbow trout and catfish because those are very highly consumed in the Dallas area. And I want to see if there's any metal in their bones and if they're ingesting the metal and as such. If we're ingesting those fish, are we taking it to the same as they are? And how harmful is it going to be for us? My references, references and volunteers. I'd like to thank my mentors, Mr. Anthony May, Dr. Felicia Connolly, Dr. Bobby Wilson, Dr. Uh, Renee Thomas, Bernard Thomas, and the Ronald from Nair Scholarship Program. Are there any questions? Yes, sir. Um, what's the advantage to using ICT over HR? Well, I can't really answer that question because the only one I've got a chance to work with in my short time was ICTMS. But that's something I would like to look at, uh, the other instruments that they have at TSU and compare, you know, results and which one's more efficient for me. Yes. What do you do with the blood samples you testing? And what was the purpose for it? Looking for, uh, for iron in the blood, like, oh, if, for instance, that would come in handy with when I'm looking at the fish, because if we're taking in the iron and taking it to our bloodstream, what's it going to do? Iron uh, in, can be seen as a, used as a carcinogenic, carcinogenic,